Good morning everyone and welcome to the Apricot Tiny House. My name is Sherry and thank you for joining me this morning. I would like to give you an update from my last video. I am in the process of trying to get a fifth wheel. It is a two bedroom, one bath, 20 foot. It is not coming here to this property because the HOA won't let me have it here so it will be put in storage. I do believe it is already sold, so it will be my first sale of the Apricot Tiny House. I did not plan on going into the tiny house business. That wasn't my intentions at all, it just kind of fell on my lap. So I'm figuring, well maybe this is what God wants me to do. So I am go with it and go with the flow and see how it all pans out. I am already looking at a third one, but I need to get the first one done first. Um, with the cell on the fifth wheel, I plan on getting the insulation and the drywall for the first tiny house. Um, once it kind of cools down, I, I do want to, you know, go out there. I have done a little bit out there, I just haven't really filmed it. Um, it's hard for me to work and try to film at the same time. I still haven't gotten a replacement tripod. My tripod broke. Um, trying to think of any other updates that I could give you. I am in the big house right now. It's, like I say, it's, it's too hot. So, well, thank you for joining me, and I wish I had more to share with you, but I really don't. Um... Besides just waiting on the fifth wheel, like, like I said, I did think it was coming today. And it's not here yet. It's 11 o'clock in the morning and I haven't heard anything, which doesn't mean anything. It could, you know, it is being delivered and the truckers who are uh, delivering it, I have to go on their schedule and I have already put in a message and I haven't heard anything back from them. Let's see anything else I did spend last weekend up on the mountain. We did get a lot done. Um, cleaned up some trees and just got everything ready for the fall. Uh, widened the road and did some road maintenance and whatnot. That, it wasn't any fun. Um, my brothers nor my sister really want to be on YouTube and I have to respect those wishes. So I didn't do any filming because I was with my family. Today, I believe what I am going to do as I'm sitting here waiting for a phone call is maybe just do some yard work and maybe vacuum and clean out my car. Lord knows that needs to be done as well. Um, anything else? I'm trying to think of anything else I can like share with you and I really don't think there's much going on. I just can't think of anything. You know, just everyday life, uh, nothing's changed, excuse me, my nose was itching, um, nothing's changed, it's life and just living one day at a time and trying to get things taken care of and accomplished and trying to think, I mean, my, as far as my plans for all of this is, where all this is leading to is, by selling tiny homes, even if I only sold three, say I sold three, that would give me enough to buy the land that I am looking for. You know, in Arkansas, land is really cheap. Um, I do want to go to the River Valley. Hopefully I can find like five acres or so. If I can just like get all of my money and, and save it and get land and put a tiny home and buy my homestead and raise chickens and grow flowers, you know, life is, would be wonderful. That is my plan, so if I can sell just the three tiny homes, the first one being the fifth wheel, um, i really not quite sure, uh, I was given an offer already of $2,500. Um, I'm not quite sure if, if that is a reasonable offer or, you know, would it would be worth. I could do a lot with $2,500, believe me. So I figured if I can like take the 500 of it and that would give me the insulation and drywall, bank the other 2000 
sell the first tiny home, you know, I have to do some research and find out exactly what the value is on that. Um, and just kind of just work my way up. Little by little, I'll eventually get out to Arkansas. I'm hoping like within the year, that is my goal, is to be out there within the year. Um, I don't really want to spend another winter here in Colorado, but I, I can and I will. Um, unfortunately, I had already planned on being out there. Let's see any other updates. Uh, the fifth wheel, the tiny home. There, not much is going on. It's kind of boring, but I'll take boring over, you know, the alternative. It could be a lot worse. Um, well, anyway, I mean, it was just kind of a chit chat kind of video. I. It's really hard for me to go out and film one-handed. Um, I still haven't gotten my tripod replaced, so to go out there and work and try to film is just, it, it, it's impossible, especially for someone like me who has no idea how a lot of these power tools work. I'm, I'm learning on the fly, teaching myself, you know, just kind of like YouTubing and seeing what YouTube could teach me as far as the power tools go. I haven't really heard from Andrew. I know he started school. Uh, he is going to school. I, I don't know if we've mentioned it, but he is going to school to be a school teacher. Uh, so, you know, his time is a little bit... Uh, I don't want to say slow, but you know, with studying and going to school, he doesn't have a lot of time to come out here. Uh, he does live about a 40 minute drive. Um, but hopefully I'll see him soon, even if it's not to work on the tiny homes, but it'd be nice to kind of catch up with them and just kind of chit chat. That would be awesome. Um, nothing else is, like I say, really going on. Uh, the vegetable garden didn't do too well at all. Um, the pepper plants did not do well at all, and the tomato plants did flower, but they did not produce any fruit, unfortunately. Um, just getting ready for a fall cleanup. I don't do a fall planting like a lot of people do a fall garden. I don't. Um, only for the mere fact because I'm lazy. It's, it's, you know, let's just be truthful. I don't have a whole lot of uh, energy when it comes to, you know, working in, in life and and then trying to get out into a into a garden. You know, come September, I, I'm pretty much done and played out. Um, I did lose my little garden helper. Him and his grandmother moved away. I tried to keep up with it as best as I could, but it, it just between um, my property and, and the mountain property and in life, it, it was hard. You know, I don't sleep much as it is. I probably am one of those people that averages about maybe three hours of sleep a night. Um, never required much sleep, although I do like naps. Naps are, naps are good. That's a good thing. Um, trying to think if there's anything else just to kind of like you know fill you in and as I think you know we've talked about everything we talked about the fifth wheel we've talked about the tiny house and then we talked about the third one possibly coming um, it is a barn style any time that that a new tiny house is being brought into the property I'm only allowed for it to be a 10 by 10 um, only because it can't be any higher than my home and the concrete pad that they rest on is a 10 by 10 pad. So I'm hoping just for the, the sale of three tiny homes, it'll get me to my homestead to where, I don't know, maybe build a fourth one. And if I can average like one tiny home a year or even two or three a year, that's my side income. You know, I believe, I've heard that on a homestead that everyone should have a side income. So maybe that's it. You know, it'd be kind of nice to get a uh, pole barn or even a small workshop to where I can build something a little bit bigger than a 10 by 10. Um, 
trying to think if there's anything else that I need to share with you. If there's anything that you need to ask or want to know, just leave it in a comment and I'll be more than happy to answer those. Oh, one thing that did happen. I was just thinking about it. On the top of um, the tiny house, there's like a wrap. And then the shingles are going to go on top of that wrap. Well, the wrap blew off. I didn't get the shingles. It wasn't all in one day. So a storm came through and blew some of the wrap off. And, of course, I got a knock on the door this morning that it needs to be repaired. Well, this is a good thing. You know, I'm not upset about it. It is a good thing because now it could all be done in one. I can get the new uh, wrap on top and then put the shingles on. I've already gotten the shingles. Um, oh, and the siding was delivered for the tiny house. It's underneath this one. It's just being stored. Um, anything else I cannot think of. Um, so, thanks for joining me, everyone, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Maybe I can get some filming done, and Andrew will swing by, and he can hold the camera while I... I don't know, saw away, drill away, whatever it is, and away. Um, once again, thank you for joining me, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.